Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to another ESP lesson. Let's take a look at our target and find out what our new sound is today. I can read and spell words with the consonant sound F, F at the end of a word. So this rule today is similar to rules you've learned in kindergarten about doubling a letter. And I'm wondering if you can take a guess as to when you double a letter. We'll see if you're right in just a second. So when you read, we need to fingerspell. When you spell, we use neat handwriting and we fingerspell. And now this F. So we double this F after a short vowel in a one syllable word. So if you have a word where you clap once and you hear a F at the end and a short vowel, you need to put two Fs. So let's first talk about the short vowels. We know the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, but a short vowel, they're special sounds. So an A says A, a short E says A, I is I, O is A, U is A. I would love for you to pause this video and practice saying those short vowel sounds because you need to know when a vowel is short and then you hear a f, you double the f. Look at this word here on the bottom. We have k, a, f, cuff. This u is my short vowel, which is what makes me double the f to keep the vowel short. So let's practice a few more. Let's start here. Here you can see a double f. F, that must mean we have a short vowel. Let's fingerspell. Here we go. B, a, f, buff. If you're buff, you have big muscles and you're nice and strong. Let's come over here. Fingers up. K, a, f, cuff. Like this cuff will go on your wrist. Notice the double F. Here we have a bunch of workers. Workers might be called, let's fingerspell, st, a, f, staff. Double F because of that short vowel. And not being able to bend or move really well might mean you are, let's fingerspell, st, i, f, stiff. Again, we have short vowel and double F. Now let's just make sure these are all one syllable words. Let's come back up here and let's clap the word buff. Ready? Buff. Yep. One syllable. Let's do cuff. Cuff. One syllable. Staff. Staff. Yep. And stiff. So they follow all of the rules. One syllable, short vowel, F at the end, so we double. Let's do some review words. You we notice in the first row we have a WH, which make sure when you say this, we can hear the H. So it's wah. So here we go. Wah itch which wah I Y Wah eh, n, when. Notice all of these are question words. Here we go. Let's do our next row. Bleach, bleach, wasp, wasp, sort, ed, sorted. What do you think the base word in sorted is? Sort. Remember the base word is the real word before the ending or the suffix. Sort. Here we go. Next row. R a z raise t oi z toys sp or t s sports notice these first two words raise and toys that s sounds like a z because of their vowel pair that vowel pair is at the end of my base word ray and it's still okay to use an A-Y because he's at the end of the base word. Remember, I can add endings anytime I want. But when you have this vowel pair, that S is going to say Z. All right, last row. Let's do it. H, A, G, D, hugged. Cl, A, M, D, claimed. M, A, N, main. Now look at the word hugged. Why do you think there's two G's there? to keep the vowel short. But what would the base word of hugged be? It's hug, it's just H-U-G. So 
just because there's two G's there doesn't mean that my base word is H-U-G-G. -G. Nope, my base word is just H-U-G, hug. All right, so you are going to need a notebook or a whiteboard, and I want you to follow along. We'll fingerspell some double F words, and then you can check to see if you got them right. Here's your first word. I say, you say, fluff. Let's fingerspell. Fl-a-f-fluff. Remember to pause the video if you need more time spelling the word fl-a-f-fluff. F-L is my blend. U -a, a a is my short vowel, and there's my double F. If I clap this, fluff, it's one syllable. Awesome job. Here's your next one. Whiff. Now listen carefully to this one. Wah, I, f, whiff. Wah, I, f, whiff. If you whiff something, it means you smell it. Wah, I, f, Whiff. I hope you heard that H in that WH. Wah. I F F double the F after a short vowel. Here's your next one. Bluff. Let's fingerspell. Ready? Bluff. Bluff. If you bluff, you tell a lie, or a bluff can also be the edge of a high cliff. Bluff. Bluff. BL is my blend, short U, and that's why I double the F. And your last one, muff, like an ear muff for you to wear if you are outside in the cold. So your word is muff. Let's do it. Fingers up. Muff. 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 M U double F to keep the vowel short. All right, couple of things to remember. I don't I don't know if you've ever heard of the floss rule, but the floss rule basically talks about all of the one syllable words with a short vowel where you double. So you can see here if a one syllable word has only one vowel and it ends in an F, L, or S. Now, in kindergarten and at the beginning of first grade, we talked about the double L and double S. We need to double it. So you can look at these words below and we can fingerspell them. Ready? M, O, S, moss. S, N, I, F, sniff. K, I, S, kiss. St, O, F, stuff. Now you pause this video and you try sounding out the bottom four words. Now remember, there are some exceptions, which means sometimes we don't double the word as, is, was, has, and his. That S makes the Z sound, so we don't double it. And here are some other rules that just don't follow. I should say other words that just don't follow the rule. If, no double F. Gas, no double S. Yes, this, us, bus plus. All of those do have a short vowel and they do end with an S. They just don't follow the rule. Chef and gal are other examples. So there are some exceptions. Just remember that we do double an F, L, or S. And in a few weeks, we will add one more letter that we double after a short vowel. So it is your turn. Click next to practice reading and spelling some words. Have a great day.